Vous dites permission de faire chien. I'm very happy to be with you today, and I will wish uh, to uh, about a bite, Mr. President, the Prince Shilema, to all of you, the committee of uh, the Shiva. I wish you well. Thank you for everything. Well, <coughs> there is something that we. Like uh, this week, last week, was Purim. Purim, it's a, uh, all the story of Purim, it's a surprise. You know, like me, yesterday, I had the biggest surprise of my life. I was in Lyon, taking the train, half past eight in the morning, <coughs> to arrive to Paris, take Air France and to travel quietly in the plane with no problem. The biggest surprise was that yesterday somebody committed a suicide on the way. So the train stopped for six hours. Six hours delay. First surprise. Things that I did not expect. Second surprise, how to come? I wanted to cancel. I said maybe from Ina Shamay, I will not come. But I said, David, you have to do an effort. You have to go. So I called. Well, I had to take the flight to Air Europa. But not in Charles de Gaulle, I have to go to Orly. Again, yalla, one hour, two hours to go to Orly. And then Orly, I have to wait three hours. Okay, then to go to Madrid. Then Madrid, uh, Buenos Aires, full of surprise. You know, a lot of times you think to do, you have a plan, but there is only the plan of Hashem. We all have a plan. Look, last week, I had a, a plan of uh, Friday, Shabbat, Sunday, and Monday. I have a big a plan. And what happened? My sister in law she passed away. So, all my plan was, <laughs> all my plan was uh, uh, d d disturbed with the death of my sister in law. So, the state, of coming to uh, from, uh, direct from from uh, Paris to Buenos Aires, I had to go to Paris for three days. Well, the Hashem, you must know, the plan is Hashem. If you have Imuna, you must know, all your plan is Hashem. We plan, we have a lot of plan. Sometimes I want to buy this house, but it's the other house that you buy. Sometimes you want to travel and you don't travel. Sometimes you want to do this in the only way. That way, always have to pray that HaKadosh Baruch Hu will make the right plan for you. Because God forbid, there is good, uh, good surprise and there is bad surprise. So always you have to pray to Hashem for the good surprise. For me today, it was the bad surprise that 24 hours, you know, running from place to place, but, but, but only Hashem knows. Maybe it will, maybe of course, a call litova. Or what happened, of course, we don't know what was, what was the good of it. When Mashiach will come, listen to this, when Mashiach will come, there will be no sacrifice anymore. Understand? There will be no vitamic, sacrifice in Vitamic Dash. There will be only one sacrifice, Korban Toda, the sacrifice of thank you, Hashem. Why? <coughs> Why all the sacrifice will be postponed? Why only the sacrifice of Toda? Because when Mashiach will come, we will see the, the, the Emet. We will see all our life. It was 
I'm calling to her because a lot of times today we don't understand what's going to happen today. Nobody knows. If wish we know, but nobody knows. Why? You can uh, be the most intelligent man in the world. You cannot know what's going to happen today. And can you imagine? We eat. We eat. And as Shemishmo, we can swallow something very bad and we can die. Last week, a woman passed away eating fish and she swallowed the fish in, in a manner and a way that she, she couldn't breathe. And she died. I know a lot of people that happened. I know a, a baby as well that was eating uh, chocolate and then I don't know what happened to her with chocolate. To me it happened as well. Two weeks ago, I was eating and suddenly I swallowed, I swallowed bad the food and I couldn't breathe. Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem, suddenly Hashem, I said, I was going to see Shema Israel and, uh, and nobody was me, was with me in the office. Would that happen to me? Baruch Hashem, Hashem, he said, and even, I couldn't even scream, I couldn't. Damn it, I couldn't scream. I couldn't call for a few seconds, panic. When Bashir will come, we say thank you to Hashem for all what we don't know. We say thank you to Hashem for the things we know. What about the things we don't know? What about the things that we don't know? For that we don't say thank you to Hashem. Why? Because we don't know. When Bashir will know, we come, so we will discover all things that Hashem he did, good things that Hashem did for us that we did not know. You know, every Pesach we, we say to Hashem, Hashem, thank you, Hashem. I mean, look today. Today, unfortunately, all the world is fighting with us. Today, Am Israel is one against everyone. It is, is against everybody, everybody. I mean, well, it's like we are lonely. No America, no nobody. Really, we feel lonely. <coughs> Damn it, this is the truth. Before Bashir will come, that's uh, that's what's gonna happen. The United Nation, nobody is for Israel, nobody is for us. <coughs> I mean, in France, yes, there's some some political political people, the way they talk about the Jewish people, you know, and the sort of, uh, I mean, those words that they say, they can provoke people to kill the Jews. Nobody stop them. Democracy can go. When my ship will come, we see take you to a household. Look, Haman. Nobody knew what the plan of Haman with Achashverosh. Nobody knew. They were talking, both of them, in a closed room. The Jews were tranquil. They were saved. Achashverosh made a big feast. A feast that it lasted 180 days. 180 days of feast, of drink, wine, food. Only, no, not two days, not a week. 100, can you imagine? 180 days. A big feast. Four, four, six months of feast. The Jews were they feel good. And suddenly, a big surprise. What surprise? The next day, all Jews are going to be killed a year later. Big surprise. Look, the same way that we had a bad surprise <coughs> during what 
Achashverosh and Haman decided to have a big, good surprise. Suddenly, Haman, he decided to kill Mordechai. And he went and he, 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 he prepared a tree to help Mordechai. At that night, something happened. What? Achashverosh couldn't sleep. He put to sleep. Bad nightmares. Why? Why is there a fight, Haman? Twice. What they are planning? He becomes Shnun. Achashverosh becomes jealous. Jealous. What they are planning against me? Haman ah. was very rich. Could overthrow Achashverosh if he wanted. Why he was thinking what to do? Now Haman came to ask for uh, the permission to hang Mordechai. But that night, because Achashverosh couldn't sleep, he started to see all the good things that people did with him. Maybe he didn't pay somebody. Who saved my life? Hey, Mordechai saved your life. Did I give him a reward? Did I give him a prize? No. Aha. Uh -huh. Then, bah, 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 bah. something was going on in the palace. A lot of noise. A man is coming with his bodyguard. Bah, 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 bah. <coughs> What's going on? Where is Haman? Haman? Let him in. Yes, Haman, what do you want? Majesty, I came to ask you a favor. A favor? Before you ask me, I want to ask you a question. The one I love. What can I do for him to give him a big respect, big tribute? So I may say, who more Hashverosh can love more than me? It's only me. Well, Majesty, the one you love, you should gallop on a horse, that your own horse, and put the crown on his head, wear nice clothes. And suppose he will go and say, this is the man that has that uh, the king love. Ah. So do that to Mordechai. What a surprise. Bad surprise. Good surprise for the Jews. And bad surprise for Haman. And you know the end. But the most important thing is a, a life is full of surprise. Hmm. The life is full. Don't think it's everything is granted. There is good surprise, there is bad surprise. So always, we have to pray to our Kaddosh for oh, the good surprise. Look at the big surprise of, of Yaakov Abin. He married Rachel and a uh, big surprise. It's not Rachel, it's there. It's good or bad? For Yaakov is bad. But at the end, it's good because if Leah would not would not marry Yaakov, there'd be no twelve tribes. But because Leah, she gave eight satikim, eight shvatim to Stina. This was good. Good for Am Israel. Leah, my friend, today we live a life. Of war. It's war everywhere. We, we live today the third world war. It's not like the one that we saw with Hitler, but to, the one of today is very dangerous. Because today people have bad weapons. Today, God forbid, could be very, very dangerous. We have Imuna that nothing bad could happen.
Otherwise, our emuna will be a disaster. We have emuna on our We We live, Baruch Hashem. That's why we have to say always thank you to Hashem. The morning for things we do in the morning, more day any. Thank you, Hashem. That's our life. Thank you. Thank you. We have to be happy. For all what Hashem does for us. Now we'd have to finish with a, a small I will show you later. I, I received an email this morning. The woman in France on Friday night she light the candle for the thing to do and she she had a big big problem and she was crying Erev Shabbat Erev Shabbat she was crying so she cried and she light the candle <coughs> and she had a big picture of, of the Lubavitch Rebbe picture of Rabbi Chaim Pinto I will show you the email uh, oh Ready? The email. Shall we? Let me read the email. The email is from... No. She can buy a fish. The email is from the email. The email is from the email. The email is from the email. I'm going to show you something you will not believe. She had a big, big problem. I showed you, yes? Yes, yes. The candle that is... On the shadow, and the, it's a small candle. I never saw that in my life. And she was sitting. That is the biggest, biggest surprise of surprise. It's like somebody who buy the lotto. Surprise! You won the lotto. <laughs> That's a good surprise. The bad surprise is that you won the lotto and you did not see the numbers. Bad surprise. <laughs> And then, after a few years, wow, it's too late. He lost it. My friend, she was sitting, she was crying. And then she stood up. And that small candle, a big fire, you will see the picture. A big fire came. And it went two meters, two meters high. But you see all the world black. It's not possible. It's, it's not possible. That's gonna, that can happen only if you if you like a torch. I don't know. And you put a, a, you put petrol on it. <laughs> But just like that, a small candle, you know, the small one yes. that you use on Shabbat. Small. Not possible. Not possible. Hashem, she was very happy. For her, it was a good sign. Thanks God, the result of that she had on Monday, where even the doctors don't understand. But I, my friend, would like to give you a bracha that always you will have only good surprises. If you have a we would balance that to give you all what you need. Amen. 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 Amen.